Lord, part of Sister Merle Gillian. Please stand. With faith in Jesus Christ, we receive the body of our sister Merle for burial. Our sister was washed in holy baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore with confidence pray to God our Heavenly Father, the giver of life, that he'll raise her to perfection in the company of the saints. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day, our sister Merle. We thank you for giving her to us, her family and friends, to know and love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His compassion never fails. Every morning they are renewed. Jesus said, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord. For to this end, Christ died and lived again that he might be Lord, both of the dead and of the living. We brought nothing into the world and we take nothing out. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The eternal God is our refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. In the midst of life, we are in death. From whom can we seek help? From you alone, O Lord, who by our sins are justly angered. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Lord, you know the secret. Sing to him how great thou art. Oh, Lord, my 
my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder that far throughout the universe is played. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then through the world, the forest glades I wander, and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees. Then I look down, from lofty mountain grandeur and hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze and sing my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sing my soul my Savior God to be, how great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God is son not sharing, sent him to die, I just can be given. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And for I shall come with shouts of acclamation and take me home. What joy shall fill my heart? Then I shall bow in humble adoration and then proclaim, My God, how great thou art. Then sing my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art, and sing my soul, my Savior God to thee. Great thou art, how great thou art. At this time we sit for an appreciation of the life and witness of our departed sister Muriel Gideon to be given by Makeda Webster. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Muriel Veronica Dillion, also called Nani, was born on the 3rd of March, 1940, to the late Cyril Dillion and Adriana Dillion. She was the mother of Carol, the late Arlene, Dane, Joel, and Darren, who she treated and talked about as her son. 
She was the grandmother of 11 and the great grandmother of three. She got the nickname Nanny from Dane when he was young as he couldn't pronounce Mommy. So Nanny was her name to all generations that follow. Nanny was born and grew for a short time on Simbabs, then moved across to Upper St. Francis Valley Road at the age of nine. She attended Belmont Methodist School. She had many friends going to school. She played cricket for Mary Gill's Cricket Club, and she loved cricket. She worked at police headquarters in the canteen. Then she was a housemaid cooking, cleaning, and ironing. She liked doing handicraft, making side-eyes, napkin holders, doilies, crocheting, sewing, etc. She actually taught me how to crochet and sew. She loved to go to cinema. She loved Western movies with Clint Eastwood and Lee Van Cleef. Her favorite show was Walker, Texas Ranger. She'd be excited for the fight scenes and would sing the opening song every time it started. She loved to party and was a masquerader as she loved to play masks. She was a quiet and pleasant lady. She had a smile that would brighten up the whole place. She loved to do things by herself. She loved to read her prayer books and newspaper. She loved to buy curtains and stuff for her home. She always said one of her favorite stores was I am. She was humbled and modest. I would buy her handbags for her birthday and while she appreciated it, she would say this is too expensive and would cherish it in her barrel where she would, kept, where she would keep all her gifts. Until a time my handbag burst and she sent me the same barrel for one to use. So from then on, it was 90s, kitchen utensils, cake and ice cream I would buy for her for her birthdays and Christmas. She loved to bake and would make a tasty black cake and coconut bake. She was, one, she was the one who taught Arlene to make the coconut bake. We all confided in Nani over the years as she kept her secret well. But as the years go on, her memory began to lessen. She'd tell us the same stories over and over, like when they moved up to Chinatown, it didn't have road, it was a truck. And a truck would drop the material to the bottom of the hill, and they would have to tow the material up to the house. Although it was sad to see her memory go in, there were funny moments. Like when she complained to Patsy that a certain family member stole her clothes and cut her hair, or every time she saw Patsy, which was every day, she would say, you're getting fat, girl. Or with me, I'd ask her who is her favorite grandchild, and at first she would never answer, but then she would say you. And when I asked her what's my name, she'd say Clacia. At one time, every woman was Arlene, and now everyone for her was Clacia. In 2000, in 2022, I told her of the person of Arlene. I made sure to sit beside her, use comforting words, hold her hand, and break it her easy. And she looked at me and said, hmm, true, i sorry for her mom. Life happened in such a way that Arlene didn't have to grieve the passing of her mother, and Nani didn't have to grieve the loss of her daughter. Nani lived. She was 84 years old, and she had 84 golden years with her family, children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Those who she saw daily, and those who were a phone call away, all loved her daily. I'd just like to read a poem on behalf of her. So she was beautiful like Nathia's song. She was kind-hearted and strong. Her smile would shine bright for miles, but now she's a heartbeat away. She had courage and strength. She fought till the end. Her memories of her childhood remain at heart. She was a mother, grandmother, and wife from the start. Her personality was beautiful. Her arms were, were always open to comfort and encourage. Her shoulders were always wide, and her ears always available to listen to her complaints and cries. We can shed tears that she is gone, or we can smile because she has lived. She's now an angel watching us from above, symbolized by another white dove. Thank you. Lord be with you. Let us pray. 
Almighty God, we remember before you today your servant will, and we pray that having opened to her the gates of larger life, you will receive her more and more into your joyful service, that with all who have served you in the past, she may share in the eternal victory of Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We take our first reading out of the Book of Wisdom, chapter 3, 1 to 5 and 9, Faith Cunningham. Good morning. But the souls of the righteous are in the hands of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster, and their going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace. For though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones, and he watches over his elect. The word of God. Thanks be to God. We sing, the Lord is my shepherd, I spent it. Our second reading from 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 12 to 18, this year, Dillion, read for us. Good morning. Good morning. The coming of the Lord. 
but we do not want to be uninformed, brothers and sisters. Other ancient authorities read their own prophets or completely or forgive. Brothers lacks proclaiming or how to take a wife for himself. Brother, about those who have died so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring him, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will be, will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with the archangels call, and with the sound of God's trump, trumpet, will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together, with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When it's in God sent his son, it should have been printed, it's not printed. The hymn is 170, 170. God sent his son. They call him Jesus into the world. He ran for him. He can die. So by my pardon, an empty grave is there to prove my Savior because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he owns the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. I'll see you hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy he gives. But greater still, the calm assurance this child can face on certain days because he lives, because he lives, I can face tomorrow because he all fear is gone Because I know He owns the fruit yeah. And life is worth the living just 
Stand for the gospel. Ali, Ali, Ali. Be with you. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 11, reading from verse 7. Then, after this, he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now trying to stone you, and are you going there again? Jesus answered, are there not 12 hours of daylight? Those who walk during the day do not stumble because they see the light of this world. But those who walk at night stumble because the light is not in them. After saying that, this, he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to awaken him. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will be all right. Jesus, however, had been speaking about his death, but they thought that he was referring merely to sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. For your sake, I am glad that I was not there, so that you may believe. But let us go to him. Thomas, who was called the twin, said to the fellow disciples, let us all go, that we may die with him. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, a mere seven miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again again in the resurrection on the last day jesus said to her i am the resurrection and the life those who believe in me even though they die they will live the gospel of the lord praise to christ our lord Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. 
Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the life and witness of our departed sister Moses Leon. We thank you for the gifts that you gave to her and those that she shared with us on this earthly pilgrimage. Now that she's gone to her rest, we pray for those who are bereaved. Give them the strength to face the days ahead with steadfastness and patience, not sorrowing as those without hope. Rest eternal grant unto her, O Lord. And let light perpetual shine upon her. May her soul and the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God. Rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Please be seated. So once again we gather in this place to say farewell to a loved one. We say farewell. <coughs> with the understanding that death will come to all of us one day. That is something that we will not escape. And while we live and look forward to the time to come, we must look forward to our resurrection time, the time when we will come to live a new life. And you can do that by beginning to live that new life here and now. You can do that by understanding that you can't be consumed about your interests only, but that of others. Because God has said to us, you know, in the realm of things, God first, others second, and then yourself. But we have switched the whole thing around and said that it's all about us. It's not all about us. God has put us here for a reason and for a season. You're not going to be here forever. So while you're here, the gifts that he has given to you, share with others. Share it out. You can't carry it with you. It's not a fixed deposit. You're not going to get any interest on it. It is for you to, to use. And so we give thanks for our sister and the life that she lived and the people that she will have touched in her 84 years. Many of us are not going to reach 84. So we thank God for long life. I know I heard here in the eulogy, and I always take a keen interest in that, 
that she could have baked. Well, that is good news. Because we have some young girls here that only know about KFC. And there's a concern about how we are raising our children on this moon. Somebody like Merle, with the skill to bake, to do that. And if you like baking, every, every weekend is something for them. It's a joy. So I do hope that she has passed on the skill to some young one here so that they are able to carry on most tradition of sharing good food. It is important that we understand these little things because you see we're bringing up children. I have about 600 over here. And um, they are not well fed. They eat anything. And sometimes they have nothing to eat. That's, that's the truth. So we can't expect them to perform as they should perform. So when you're asking, how, how come these children are not doing as well in school as they should be? They are not well nourished. I want you to think about that. Because ask yourself what you could do to help somebody in your street, somebody in your neighborhood who's going through rough times and children not getting enough nourishment. Seize the opportunity. Do something for them. You say, I ain't doing that. Because we always somehow we always in some little, you know what I mean, funniness with the neighbor. Are wrong or right? Are they from the Valley Road, right? Yeah, yeah. Chinatown? Up there? Yeah, yeah. Not Chinatown. Well, even before that. So you have that, you have that kind of basa basa between the neighbors. And that is good living. And where we could help the children that has helped them. Because I'm sure that Merle had a heart where she would be shown to help those in need. So if there's one thing you can learn from her, is that, to help others. Now let's look at that. Because you see, brothers and sisters, you're going to have to appear before the throne of God and a question is going to be asked. What have you done with what I have given to you? I gave you some gifts. What have you done with it? What's the excuse? I didn't have the time. I was too busy. Now is the time for us to use the gifts God has given us for the building up of his kingdom. Do it now. No way till you reach late 80s and thing and now, now looking to do it because you may not have the health and strength. Do it now when you could do it. Touch lives. If somebody in your community, in your street, who you can help, help them. You see what? The parents, this and the parents, forget that. You do what you have to do. Don't make no excuse. Do what you have to do. God put these things there for you to do, you know. That is why you're there. And sometimes you're watching you and say, and you say, yes, Christian, let me see, let me see how you're going to have. Whether you're vexed with the mother or father or sister or brother, attend to the person who you want to attend to. Don't let that interfere with what God sent you to do. So, as we remember Merle today, let us reflect on our lives. Because every time we come to a funeral, it comes back to us that one day 
He's going to be there. Right? And if we understand that, then let us live our lives in peace and love and in harmony with one another and sharing what God has given us. Because we want our names to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Please stand. <clears throat> Let us with confidence and hope confess the faith into which we were baptized as we sit together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. For Sister Merle, let us pray to the Lord Christ who said, I am resurrection and I am life. Lord, you console Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Merle and dry the tears of those who weep. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. You raise the dead to life. Raise our sister Merle to eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our sister Merle to the joys of heaven. Lord, hear us. Our sister Merle was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your saints. Lord, hear us. She was nourished with your body and blood. Grant her a place in the, at the table in your heavenly kingdom. Lord, hear us. Comfort us in our sorrows at the death of our system will. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life be our hope. Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to you. Our system will, who was reborn by water and the spirit in holy baptism. Grant that her death may recall to us your victory over death and be an occasion for us to renew our trust in your Father's love. Give us, we pray, the faith to follow where you have led the way. And may you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit through the ages of ages. Amen. We sing this hymn, It is Well with My Soul. During this hymn, we will take up a collection because we are doing some repairs to our roof. I am so 
Give rest to Christ, to your servant Mary, with your sins. Your sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing with life everlasting. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of mankind. And we are mortal, formed of the earth, and the earth shall be returned. For so did you ordain when you created me, saying, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet even at the grave we make our song. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Give rest to Christ, to your servant, Merle, with your saints. Where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sign, but life everlasting. Let us commend our sister, Merle, to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. Deliver your servant, Merle, O sovereign Lord Christ, from all evil, and set her free from every bond, that she may rest with all your saints in the eternal habitation, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign one God forever and ever. Amen. Into your hands, command your spirit to move. Into your hands. For oh, we must die to ourselves in loving you into your hands. I will proclaim your name to all the world, God of our fathers and of our truth. Your name shall sound from every voice to every heart we worship you into your hands. We command the spirit to into your
into your hands, O merciful Savior. We commend your servant Merle, acknowledging humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, in the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray, our Father who art in heaven. Give me bread and forgive us our trespasses. Each trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. As we go out into the world, let us stand fast in the armor of God, putting on the girdle of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, and the helmet of salvation. Let us walk with the sword, the word of the Lord in our hands, and let us shut our feet with the gospel of peace. And in that ministry, remember that all mankind are like grass, and their glories are like wild flowers. The grass with us, the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. Everyone the Father gives to me will come to me. I will never turn away anyone who believes in me. He who raised Jesus Christ from the dead will also give new life to our mortal body through his indwelling spirit. My heart therefore is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. And in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. I heard a voice from heaven saying like this. Happy are the dead who die in the faith of Christ. Henceforth, says the Spirit, they may rest from their labors, for they take with them a record of their deeds. Man born of a woman has but a short time to live, and a flower he blossoms and then withers like a shadow he flees, but never stays. In the midst of life, we in death, to whom can we turn for help but to you, Lord, who are justly angered by our sins? Lord, God, Holy and mighty, holy and immortal, holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us from the bitter pains of eternal death. You know the secrets of our hearts. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Forgive us our sins. And at our last hour, let us not fall away from you. Ensure uncertain hope of resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. We commend to Almighty God our sister Merle and we commit her body to the ground, earth to earth. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. And we beseech you in your infinite goodness, to give us grace to live in your dear love and to die in your favor. But when you will, your well beloved son shall come again in judgment, both this our sister Merle and we ourselves may be found acceptable in your sight. Grant this for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Rest eternal grant unto her, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon her in her soul and the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. I'm walking on my way to the Lord.
the rock is higher than I am. Jehovah hide me, I am under the rock. Go tell my enemies, I am under the rock. Jehovah hide me, I am under the rock. This morning, somebody passed by. This morning, somebody passed by. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Was this morning, somebody passed by. This morning. God the Holy Ghost, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, by the river, Happy, 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 happy,
This morning, we gathered here to bid farewell to our dearly beloved Lord Today, as we gathered, we are proud to commit our body to the earth. We know that it is from the earth we come as, and it is back to the earth we must return. You see, flesh and blood cannot enter that kingdom that Jesus has gone to prepare for us. We have to leave our mortal body here and pick up the celestial. So this time as we are about to commit our dearly beloved to the earth, we ask Almighty God to remember on the day of resurrection when Jesus will come again to receive us unto his own. He said, Behold, I come quickly, and his reward is with him. And he's coming to pay every man according to our work shall be. Whether it be good or whether it be bad, we all have to appear before the judgment seat of Christ. So today, as we lay our dear sister body down, we want to remember that this is not the end of her. There's a judgment to come that she has to appear. And we have an advocate, which is the man Christ Jesus. To him, he said, Whosoever believeth on him shall have eternal life. All right? So this time, we want to remember that Jesus told Mary and Martha when Lazarus was dead that he is the resurrection and the life. No man come unto the Father but by him. So today in the name of Jesus, we know he is the way to eternal life. So today, we place our dear beloved whether it's mother, grandmother, tante, cousin, friend, neighbor, whatsoever, come in somebody back to the earth in Jesus' name. Yeah, okay, he yeah. said that one day you will come again to receive us, and that day is coming soon. So today, my brethren, we give Almighty God the praise and thanks for the life that he had led unto murder. He told us that the time appointed to man is three scores and ten, but by reason of strength it may be four scores. And today I heard that she made four scores and four, which is a lot to thank Almighty God for. She was a mighty woman, strong. That is why she made four scores and four. Because laying right next to her is one of her nephews who didn't even make two yet. And this is the life. So brethren, today we have a lot to thank God for. So Almighty God, today we are Lord. We bring the body of the world billion before you, dear God. And we come to the throne, dear Father. And we are through your son, Jesus, dear Lord. We ask that just as you remember that you in our life, that Jesus, when your kingdom come, you will remember her. Oh Lord, when that great waking up morning come and your trumpet blow, she will hear the song, dear Lord, and she will answer her name when you call. Father God, I yield that body unto you, dear Lord, as we come into the Oh God, we commit this body, dear Lord. I'm too hard. Oh God, dust the dust, dust the dust, and I'm too hard. My God and my Redeemer. Look at the woman servant today. And Father, I hope that we meet her one day in paradise. My God and my Redeemer. If only we live to Christ, dear Lord, that you have shown us the living Jesus. The example that you have set for us, dear Lord. Father God, one day we too have to walk this road. And we ask Somebody dear God, that to you know? Lord, hold my hand. While I run this way, Lord, hold my hand.
When I put me Bible in front me door, no man can enter. When I put me Bible in front me door, no man can enter. Put me by foot in front of the door. When I put me by foot in front of the door. No man, no man, the Lord. No man, no man, the Lord. When I put me by When I put me Bible in front of me door, no man can enter me. No man, no man, the Lord. No man can enter me. No man, no man, the Lord. No man can enter me. No man can enter me. When I put me my body in to pray, oh God and river, so chilly and cold, it takes my body, but not my soul, God and river, so chilly and cold, it takes my body, but not my soul, oh God, my soul.
I looked over your top, and what did I see, Lord? For me, you can me share you not tell me what you say. But I have to sing with something, clap with something.
One more, then we'll do a close and off for the close it off for everything. Right? My phone is tired. I need I'm some strips right now. All right, we're just doing a little because we must thank God in everything. Eh? In life, we had to thank Him, and death, we also have to thank Him. Sometimes we just forget to thank Him for a lot of things that He grant us. All right, and I tell you, we need get to the privilege. Because as He tell us, if He didn't go, the Comforter would not have come. So if we ever go, we can meet Him. Right? So let us give Him the praise and thanks. Almighty and most merciful Father, as we gather this evening, we thank you, dear God, for everything that was said and done here today, dear Lord. Father God, I bring the bereaved family before you, dear God. All friends, all well wishers I have that you strengthen them, dear Lord. As we continue this life journey, dear Lord. Father God, we ask that you hold our hands and walk with us. Father God, keep us, dear Lord, as one Jesus, as you and the Father is one. So we ask that you make us one in you, dear Lord. By God and my Redeemer. Remember those that prepare the tomb, dear God. Without their labor, dear Father, nothing would have been possible yesterday. I bring them in your hands, dear Father. I ask that they remember them, dear Lord. The task that they have done, dear Lord. Oh God, keep them and strengthen them, dear Lord. Oh God, remember them in all their endeavors. Walk and talk with them, blessed Lord. Father God, each and every one of us, any that haven't get to know you yet, Lord. I ask that you reveal yourself to them, dear blessed Father. As you reveal yourself to me one day, dear Lord, my God and my Redeemer, each and every one, I bring them in your love and care. And as go to our various homes wherever we may be. I ask that you take the lead here, God, our God and our Redeemer. In no other name but Jesus Almighty name. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord for the life of mercy, Lord, but most because of Jesus Christ. Let man to our soul be given the bread of life and down Praise God for more blessings. Praise him all creatures here below. Let's praise him above Angelico as we praise Father. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us all, now and forever. Amen. 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 Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace.